Okay ladies, I'm going to let you in on my little secret for salon quality nails and lashes that you can do at home for a fraction of the price it would cost you to get done at a salon. Ready to wear nails and false lashes. I'm going to show you how I apply these so that they last and last for a long time. So first I'm going to start with the lashes. Now these are by the brand Kiss and you've heard me talk about them a million, million times. These are their mink false lashes. They can be trimmed to fit your eye. They can be used up to 10 times. They're really great quality for the price and you'll see the dramatic effect they make when I apply them. You can get both of these, by the way, in the Dollar General store. There are a million choices, so if you can't decide between, say, five different kinds, I would just take all five home because you will find an occasion to wear them. So for the first one, I'm going to wear the Mink Effect Collection in Countess, which I think is really glam. As you can see, they are going to be very bold. Very bold and beautiful. Perfect for like holiday parties, date nights, Halloween, things like that. So in order to apply them, I'm going to be using the Kiss Lash Adhesive. So what you'll want to do is you'll take your lashes out and you'll trim them to the length of your eye. I read that you should actually trim the inner corner instead of the outer corner. Okay, so this is what they look like out of the box. And I'm just going to click... Okay, they're a little, little long on the inside corner, so I'm just going to quickly trim it my scissors just to measure make sure yeah that'll be about the right length for me and I saw this cool trick on another video where while you're waiting to apply your lashes you can stick them on your finger like this and it'll create a nice natural bend for them so that when you apply them they apply a little bit easier so now I'm gonna measure the second one I don't know about you but I love wearing fake lashes I just feel like they're just adds such drama to your look. And now I'm going to take the lash adhesive. And the trick with lash adhesive is honestly just patience. You don't need a ton of it. You just need it to be tacky enough so that it'll stay on your lash line. So I'm going to take the right eye first. I'm going to dab a little bit of glue on it like this. And just wait a couple seconds. During this time you could apply your lipstick. You could apply anything else. Oh, two more things I like to do before applying lashes is that I'll actually curl my lashes first and then I'll apply my cat eye, um, either it's a liquid liner or a pencil liner, either one, so that when I put the lash on, I don't have to go back in there with a pencil or a liner, the liner is already there. So I've let the glue sit for about 30 seconds, it's going to be tacky now. And I'm just going to avoid touching it because I don't want the glue all over my fingers. Then I'm just going to go in and set the lash directly on top of my natural lash line and just very carefully press it down. Now you can go in and you can fill in some extra line eyeliner here if you'd like. I like to leave it as is. Wow, those look amazing. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. And with everything, or like everything, applying false lashes just takes practice. It, it just takes time. You know, no one's gonna get it perfectly the first time. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. I remember trying to do this as a teenager and it was like, <laughs> it was just not happening. But now it's like, I can do it in a matter of minutes. Okay, so here's the second one. I'm gonna go directly on top of the lash line, starting from the outer corner, pressing down, and slightly pressing. See, that took what? Five minutes, it was super, super easy. And look at the dramatic effect it gives. Now, I already had mascara on, but what you can do is you can wait until after you've applied the lashes and just apply mascara only on your bottom lash, or if you'd like to, um, on the um, upper lash, just very gently so that you don't affect the lashes. I love it. So the second item I like to put on to glam up my look are ready-to-wear nails. You see me wear these all the time. I absolutely love this brand. I probably have them on in every photo shoot I've done in the last year just because they're so much easier than painting my nails. I'm going to quickly show you how to put these on. So the three things that I like to use to apply these nails are nail glue, you'll have to use that, and a cuticle pusher, and then any kind of alcohol. Now what the alcohol does is it clears your nail bed of any kind of oils that could keep the glue from getting the strongest hold. So before I apply them, I like to wash my hands and then just quickly give my fingers, my fingernail beds, a rub with the alcohol. Now you could do the pushing back of your cuticles 
cuticles before you apply the nails or when you give yourself um, a manicure. It doesn't always need to be done right before you apply the nails. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take out my glue. This is just a brush on nail glue. And then this part, now this is the part that um, you wanna be really particular about, measuring the nail bed sizes. Um, Kiss has multiple sizes in this packet. And what you can do is you can lay out all the nails and then go through them one by one and kind of figure out, okay, this is my nail size. What I like to do is I'll just pick a nail and then I'll kind of fit it and say, yes, that's my size. I'll put it in the good pile, or no, it's not my size, I'll put it in the disregard pile. Now, once you've done this a few times, you'll get pretty quick at, at knowing what size your nails are. And one little trick that I don't think a lot of people know, but these nails have um, numbers on the back that tell you what size they are. So when you start to learn your size, you can just look and say, oh, okay, one, that's my size, next. And then you can just match them up because there's two of each size in every box. You wanna do your thumbs last. So once you've found your nail size, you're going to take the nail glue and you're just going to brush on your nail just like that. And then here's a little trick I like to use. So here's a little trick I like to use. You're gonna take the nail and you're gonna push it kind of back into your nail bed, not uncomfortably, but just enough so that when your nail starts to grow out, it doesn't look like the nail itself has started to grow out. See, just like that. Now another trick is once you have these on, try not to do anything that's gonna disrupt the glue from getting a strong hold. So, you know, don't go into dishes or don't try and like pick apart something with your nails, especially within the first hour of applying these. That's gonna make them the strongest as possible. Now this set that I'm wearing, you can do a different color for your index finger. I've decided that I'm actually just gonna use the glitter. Looks like this, it's really pretty. I'm just gonna use the glitter for all of my nails. And there you have it. Beautiful salon nails and lashes that you would pay a lot for if you were to go to a salon. And I did it all at home in a matter of 10 minutes.